This is a solution to an example problem from the covalent bond energy problem set at sciencepimer.com. The question we're going to answer is the following. How much energy is released when a mole of butanol is formed? And the chemical structure of butanol is C4H9OH. We're asked to give our answer to the nearest kilocal per mole. In addition to the question, we're provided with a chemical structure of butanol, and this is required for us to figure out the bonds in the molecule to figure out the energy associated with them. We are also given a table showing the energy in each of these bond types. So armed with a chemical a structure and the energy, we're asked to find the energy released. We're going to do this problem in four steps. The first step is to identify all the bonds in the molecule. So the bond types we have here are carbon-carbon, carbon-hydrogen, carbon-oxygen, and hydrogen oxygen. Step two, count the bonds. We have one, two, three carbon carbon bonds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine carbon hydrogen bonds, one carbon oxygen bond, and one hydrogen oxygen bond. Step three, multiply the number of bonds by the amount of energy associated with each bond type. So we have the three carbon-carbon bonds, and there are 83 kilocals per mole of energy associated with this bond type. So three times 83, and this equals 249. We have nine carbon-hydrogen bonds, and there are 99 kilocals per mole associated with this bond type. So it's nine times 99, which equals 891. We have one carbon oxygen bond, 87 kilocalories per mole. 1 times 87 equals 87. And then hydrogen oxygen is 110, so it's 1 times 110, which equals 110. The fourth and final step is to sum these energies. So 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 7 is 17. Carry the 1. 9 plus 4 is 13, plus 1 is 14, plus 8 is 22, plus 1 is 23. Carry the 2. 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12, plus 1 is 13. So the answer to this problem is the energy released when a mole of butanol is formed is 1,000. 337 kilocals per 